Hi, I'm Craig Wilson, editor of Stuff Magazine South Africa, and today I'm taking a look at the NAVD heads-up display. The NAVD is an aftermarket heads-up display unit, but it's pretty easy to fit to your car. It gives you a bunch of handy information, courtesy of your onboard diagnostics port, or OBD2, which is found on most cars made in the sort of early 2000s onwards. Installing the NAVD is really simple. You attach this adhesive plate to the top of your dashboard, fit the unit to the top of it, run a cable down the side and into your OBD port or onboard diagnostics port that you'll find alongside your fuses, and attach this jog wheel to the steering wheel. This gives you a controller that lets you cycle through menus, and the center button lets you make selections. There's also the option to do some basic controls with gestures. There's a front-facing camera here, and you can wave your hand in front of it to enter or exit menus, or do things like answer or reject phone calls. To get its actual data, the NAVD connects to a smartphone, and it uses this for mapping. So of course you can get GPS in the heads-up display as well. The mapping's a little hit and miss depending on which areas you're in, because it's using its own service, not something like Google Maps, and it doesn't integrate very well with that sort of thing. But it's a great option for getting from A to B and keeping your eyes where they ought to be on the road. Perhaps my favorite feature on the NAVD is actually just the music control. You double click the jog wheel and it brings up music controls on the right hand side of the display. You can then move back and forward between tracks, or if you're using iTunes or Apple Podcasts, enter those through the dedicated music icon. I'm using Spotify here and it's perfectly able to control the music, but you can't actually go and navigate playlists. Maybe that's something they'll add in a future firmware update. And that's one of the great things about this. There have been a bunch of additional features like the driver score that have only come in firmware updates since I installed the device. So you can look forward to a bunch of new features as NavD sees fit to add them. Originally a Kickstarter campaign, the NAVD is now readily available from local iStores for about 10,000 Rand. Now that's a lot to pay for an aftermarket accessory, particularly if you have a bit of an older car, which really is the target market here. But it is great to be able to keep your eyes on the road and do some basic things like deal with messages and calls and that sort of thing. And it does make it feel a bit like you're in Top Gun. <laughs> Thank you.